Let's just watch the VOD. And um, I'll just skip to the portions I want to skip to. All right, here we go. All right, so this one is amazing. And you'll see why. <laughs> Probably the best thing that could have happened in this trial. All right, be seated. Well, it was, um, it was okay. operating system at Bell Labs. So basically, this dude's a genius, all right? I've seen the Twitter news platforms going crazy trying to save Amber's reputation. Yeah. Yeah, I've seen a lot of that. Um, it, it, all it is, is big companies are like, oh, she's a woman. So, what is the safest thing to do? Side with the woman. Because if the woman loses and they were siding with Johnny, dude, they would have to like, cancel all their shows, blah, 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 because they'd be called sexist and blah, 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 blah. You, you, you guys know how it goes with companies. They're so, they're so worried about that. So worried about being called sexist or anything like that. <clears throat> but if they side with Amber, and even if Amber loses, they're gonna put like, you know, in the little fine print of the articles, but I don't know, maybe Johnny will win. So then technically they're never going to, they're not going to lose. They're never going to be on the wrong side because if Amber wins, they're going to look like smart geniuses, supporters of women and love women, blah, blah, blah. Or um, if, if Johnny wins, then they're just going to be like, oh, well, at least they put in the article that Johnny Depp might win. It's just the safe route to do. It's just the company thing. Depp coming in dapper as fuck yet again. Dude, he always looks stylish as hell. Yeah, keeping their reputation intact. <laughs> and, and when was that approximately what year um, 1986 okay. and and how long did you work at Bell Labs um, a couple of years and what did you do after Bell Labs after that um, all right I was lowered away to uh, IBM so I worked at IBM on this man's a genius he went to like Stanford when he was 14 or some shit um but what he specializes in, because I don't want I don't want to hear his whole his whole spiel again. What he specializes in is um Twitter and you know Instagram and social media APIs. Which basically, if you guys know what APIs are, you can ask or or you have to pay for it, but you can pay Twitter to get an API of a certain search term. And uh, basically they're using this to get a bunch of hashtags of like, you know, support Johnny Depp or hashtags of uh, people being mean to Amber and compare them as to which one got the most shit. Um, which, as you know, you can't uh, quantify that in a few hashtags. It's very inconsistent. Um, there's so, you know, Twitter has a billion different hashtags for different stuff. But he said he found the most popular hashtags. And basically what they're trying to say is uh, Amber got more shit than Johnny. That, that's all this is. And what happened to mailcall.com? Yes, I have two published articles. One related to... All right, let's scoot to it. Um, let's scoot to it. Computer security and another relating to um, antitrust enforcement using technology. And what Now, the reason this the one's so one good... I will give you a number. I, well, the, the last number I have is... The reason this one's so good. Wait, just wait. Do we know if that's the last? Uh... Can we make it? Can we? How about we make it 1900? That way, it's not. How, can we just make it 1900? That's perfect. Okay. All right, 1900. It is. Any objections to demonstrative? No, Your Honor. All right, you can publish that. Are you ready? That are in yellow. You see that? I do. Okay, and if we go all the way to the to the right. Oh, what's that last one? Here, wait, <clears throat> let me, um, can, can I, can I, let me, let me zoom in a little bit. Let's, let, let's just, let's just, um, let's zoom in a little bit. Let's enhance, enhance that image. Wait, no, it's not, not enhanced enough. Enhance that image. What, what is, um. What does that say up there, chat? <clears throat> Some of Amber Turd. They're using 
hashtag Amber Turd in this court case to show that Amber Heard uh, um, got more shit. Well, there, there's more to it. It's, it's more about like, you know, defamation and stuff like that. They'll explain it more as we go. But Amber Turd is officially canon, chat. Amber Turd is officially canon. We can, the, dude, the freaking person who types it, <clears throat> like they got to type that shit. They, like Amber Turd is a thing now. That's going to, that's stuck with her forever. Um, well, first, Guys, we've gone mainstream. To the left here. I apologize. You see in 2020, there's the months of June and July. I do. Okay. And what did, what did these columns first tell the jury what they represent? Yo, Stinky Pickles, thank you so much for your these is the number of tweets with the hashtags, um, with the corresponding hashtag during that month. Okay. And if we look at the first one in yellow, uh, you see that first hashtag, the fourth one over? I do. And are, are there any, what does it show from 2018, Frank, to July of 2020? Okay. There were there were none, and then what happens in August of twenty twenty? Um, well, there's a remarkable jump from <laughs> July to August of twenty. Which I just want to mention <clears throat> is stupid. He's saying this is proof. See all the zeros, and then this jumped up, and he's saying this is proof because there was um, I don't know the specifics, but a lawyer or someone. Uh, uh, released something or said something about Amber. I need to refresh my memory on it. And um, <clears throat> basically they're trying to say is that is what caused the big publicity jump on, uh, it, on everyone moving to Johnny's side, basically. But the thing stupid about this is it's fucking Twitter. Because <clears throat> he's saying that's proof that whenever the thing happened, that hashtag was made. But I don't think this person knows how hashtags work. It, it, it literally could be random. Like, look, there, there, there were hashtags like uh, justice for uh, Johnny Depp for a long time. But, like, hashtags, like, change, you know? Like, they're just sprout out of nowhere. They're, they're not like, I don't know. It, it's, it, it's Twitter, man. Like, I don't know how else to explain it. It's Twitter. 2020, it goes from zero to 13,878. And if we scroll to the right, the last three hashtags, uh, in which are highlighted or shows the difference between June and July, what, what did your analysis show? Well, you can see that June is, is about at its steady state. Um, in July, there's also a remarkable jump. And that's for all three of those hashtags? That's correct. Okay. And the, and the My burps don't stink. If the hashtags that are in blue are the ones related to, to Mr. Depp, correct? Correct. Okay. Oh, by the way, what is your understanding of when the last alleged defamatory statement was made by Mr. Depp through Mr. Waldman? My understanding is that it was the end of June of okay. that year. Of 2020? Yes. Okay. <clears throat> now looking at the hashtag. Someone in chat said, I'll go now, sorry. Did my burp scare you away? I'm sorry. <laughs> After I burp. All right, I think I'm gonna I'm I'm gonna head out, guys. That that's too much for me, guys. Hashtags that are highlighted in blue <clears throat> for Mr. Depp. Say Amber Turd out loud in court. I dare you. Hmm. Okay, let's go. Let's skip forward to the cross. Okay. Um. Let's skip forward to the cross because all they're doing here is showing graphs that uh, are trying to prove that. Um, but let me go back to the to the what is the name of the guy? Where is the guy's name? Here, Waldman. Um. <clears throat> so, basically, they're trying to link <clears throat> whatever Waldman said to all of these uh, buffs in tweets. But uh, again, you can't really do that. You, you can't, like he said these, uh, he said all together, which is hilarious. The amount of tweets that uh, happened uh, against Amber, 2 million, over 2 million tweets of people shit talking Amber.
which to be fair, uh, hashtags could be used ironically. So, you know, that, that easily could just be disproven as, uh, but they're using it as facts uh, that 2 million people hate Amber, which obviously that could just go the other way because the amount of people who use hashtags ironically is crazy. Well, I also looked in that same <coughs> data um, for references to Waldman. But she itself. added his ass first, drawing more Waldman attention to him. Followed by anything, followed by Mignon. So or minions, minion, depending how you. That want to that's that's it. literally what they're saying. They're they're literally saying so. So what that Amber started it. So what? <laughs> that's all they're saying. The toe of Waldman. And yeah, they didn't hate her until Mignon, facts guess, came out. Minions. <laughs> um, and oh yeah, it's definitely more than two million. Those were just the hashtags he found. And in terms of the percentage of the amount of times Waldman or Waldman Yon was used in the negative hashtags from April 2020 through is it January 2021? The percent? Uh, yeah. What's the percentage? Yeah. So I found over 25 percent of the neg negative hashtag tweets, or one out of every four on average, had either uh, Waldman or Waldman Yon. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> this is hilarious because his name's Waldman. So he had to search in order to make sure he searched Wald Mignon. And he also said he searched Wald Minion. He actually said that in court. I wonder if I could find that. Let's go back to where he said Minion. Big numbers, you know, over. And, and, uh, to Mr. Depp, uh, which was the original. He says minion. From April of 2020. Let's find the minion. Through January of 2021. And I searched it uh, for certain key terms, um, specifically hoax, fake, and fraud. And that's, that's what it's representing. The top part, anyway. And the top part, if you look at the, for hoax, fake, and fraud within the, and this is within the negative hashtags or to misheard. Right. This is only searching through the ones that have one of these four hashtags in them. Okay. And and if you look at the total, oops, I'm putting that in black. Let's clear that. Oh, you saw the line, line there. What's the total number of um, times it was used in the in the negative tweets? Either hoax, fake, or fraud. Eighty-one thousand one hundred twenty-one. And did you perform any other searches on the data? <clears throat> And what, what searches did you perform? What does this prove? So I also looked in that same. What does this prove, chap? Um, <clears throat> that people don't like Amber? Waldman by itself. Or Ready? Wald and then followed by anything, followed by Mignon or Minions, Minion, depending how you want to pronounce it. So oh! Portmanteau of Waldman and Filet Mignon, I guess, or Minions. Um, he said it! And looked for those in the. In the same <clears throat> he said Minions! And in terms of the percentage of the amount of times Waldman or Waldman Yon was used in the negative hashtags from April 2020 through, is it January 2021? The percent? Yeah. Uh, yeah. What's the percentage? It's stupid. Yeah, so I found over 25% of the, the Because they're trying to say that one out of every four um, on average had either. Uh, the media Waldman turned against Amber. But like, and, and like people's and opinions were influenced by something, hoax, fake fraud. but, uh, by Waldman, which I, I don't really know too much about that, but literally the only reason people started hating Amber is because evidence came out. So this cross-examination is great because basically what I said is what the lawyer is going to say. I know I probably said it to make it sound like I'm smart, but it is kind of common sense. Basically, the lawyer is saying, like, this is stupid that you're using Twitter as a way to uh, prove this shit. Uh, sir, this is the first time that you've testified as an expert as in the field of statistical and forensic analysis of Quinn. social media, isn't it? I've, I've consulted on litigation for it. But Thank you, it human cookies. To testimony. That's correct. This is your first testimony. Testimony, yes. Right. And this is. And you've never been involved in a defamation case before. That's correct. Okay. Oh. And you're being oh. compensated for your time here today and the work you did, correct? Berkeley Research Group is being compensated, okay. yes. At $600 an hour. That's what they're getting paid. Wow. Right. Um, God you're damn. you're aware that Mr. Depp is being sued based on allegedly defamatory statements 
What are the dates of those statements? I, um, my understanding is it's, um, there was something around April 8th, I believe April 27th and June 24th, somewhere in the end of June. Okay. Um, so, and where do you understand those statements to have resided? In the public media. In any particular uh, article or? I, I didn't consider that. All right. Yeah, chat, I believe if Twitter gets bringed up, bringed up. God damn it, I'm so stupid. If the word Twitter comes up into a court case and that's like your proof, it's over, man. It's over. So you're not offering an opinion on how widely the articles that contain those statements were read. That's correct. And you're not offering an opinion as to how many people actually saw the language that's been attributed to Mr. Walton. Only a, a minimum number of people who could have seen it based on the tweets that referenced him. Okay. Um, then your whole point is and wrong. you don't know even where those references appear in the articles. I'm not sure what you mean. Uh, the, there are statements by Mr. Waldman that appear in articles. Do you understand that? I do. Do you know in what portion of the articles the statements appear? I've looked at the articles, and um, from that, I, I've seen where they appear. And, that, and where, in general, do they appear? In, in the middle, the end, what's your sense? That I'm not sure of. I mean, the, the ones I looked Oh, so he said he read the article, and he knows where they appear, but he doesn't know if it's at the beginning, middle, or end? That I feel like that's on the important. Sixth and seventh, I think they were towards the top. All right. So you testified that you reviewed a, a number of hashtags that you deemed were negative towards Ms. Heard. Is that's he going right? to read them? Yes. Yeah. Read them. The, the four you picked, at least the negative ones. Oh. Oh. Uh, justice for Johnny Depp. Yes. That's from one of them, right? That's right. Ready? It's coming. Amber Heard is an abuser. He's going to say it. That's one of them. There it comes. We just don't like you, Amber. Last one. That's one of them. That is one of them. And the last one was Amber Turd, right? That is, an, that is another one. Okay. Um, and oh! these four hashtags you identified and searched oh, for. Oh, it's official. You have no. It's official. It's official. It is written in stone on the world. Amber Turd. It's official. <coughs> it's official. You don't believe they have any connection or you testified that there, you have no connection to these three Waldman statements. It's the canon. The aren't, aren't connected to Waldman, right? Well, I did a, an additional analysis that did show how many of those had Waldman connected to them. And how would Amber Turd have did. anything to do with Waldman? Right. It had to do with her poop. But when you were deposed, you were asked whether, whether these were related these particular hashtags were related to any of the Waldman statements, and, and you said no at that time. I said more than that. I, I did. I said I, I said I didn't know, and then and then I said um, I'm basing my uh, <coughs> I, I'm looking at Mr. Banya's opinion where he says they would be if they were in large number, and I'm, I'm adopting his opinion and agreeing with him that they must be connected. Oh, so you don't. So you're a professional so you're witness. Adopting an opinion that hasn't been rendered in this case yet by anybody but you. Well, I know that Mr. Banya has testified. Okay, um, what I'm saying is I know that Mr. Banya, Mr. Banya's disclosure says that he is expected. To Dude, he <laughs> is he is shaken up, man. He doesn't know what to do. Spirit Suu, thank you so much for the gift. He doesn't, dude, he, you could tell he is visibly shaken right now. He's actually shaking in his boots. Come to that opinion. <clears throat> right. But the only person who's ever expressed this opinion to date in this courtroom is you, correct? I, w I wouldn't know. I haven't watched everything. I've watched a bit. So but... <laughs> you're, you're adopting your own opinion. Come help. Um, no, I'm adopting the opinion that I read in Mr. Banya's disclosure. Right. And that's not the opinion. Okay, dude, that, that, that's a, that doesn't make any sense. <clears throat> So you're just adopting a biased opinion. That's cool. All right. One second. Oh, God. All right. You guys need. Okay. Are we shipping? Are you, are you guys shipping my chair right now?
Are you guys shipping my chair? My chair. <sighs> Are you guys shipping my chair? Opinion you had during your deposition. I think I did make reference in my deposition to uh, what Mr. Banya said and, and that I agreed with it. He knows you fucked up. Oh! oh! Human cookies, thank you for the five. God, that scared me. Holy shit. Oh my God, that scared me. <coughs> Thank you for the five. Holy shit. All right. <laughs> this scared the crap out of me. Indicated in deposition, you didn't take into account statements made in the media. Correct? Made in what? I couldn't. You, you said you did, you did not take into account in your analysis statements made in the media. Media. Um, yes, in the analysis where I gathered data and decided which data to gather, I did not take into account statements in the media. All right. You, so you looked at data. You produced charts. You did analysis relating to the data. Nerd. But you had no reason Nerd. at the time you did this to consider any particular statements. Isn't that true? That's true. I think that's a, a, an appropriate scientific you methodology looked at data. to not, uh, to first get, <clears throat> gather as much data as possible and then drill down on the data. All right. And the Twitter data you collected shows that the four hashtags you, would, you identified were in existence before Mr. Waldman made the first statement in April 2020, right? Oh, that's correct. Right, in very small right? number. But but justice for Johnny. But it Depp existed. It's been around since 2013, correct? Um, that sounds correct. Yeah. Amber Heard is an abuser, and Amber Turd first appeared in 2016, correct? I don't recall. Actually. He keeps right. saying it, dude. Do you recall if there was any portion of? Mr. Waldman's statement that made any reference to Amber Turd? <laughs> oh my God, dude, how he's saying it. Was there any reference to Amber Turd? He, dude, he is getting him, dude. He's getting him so hard. He's showing him how absolutely ridiculous it is that he's actually using hashtag Amber Turd in relation to whatever Waldman wrote. Amber Turd is about her pooping on the bed, man. Not that I've seen. Right. Um, people can form a negative view of Ms. Heard without reading Mr. Waldman's statements, correct? People can form a negative opinion of anyone without reading anything. That's correct. So you literally, you, you literally just proved everything you said wrong. Consider whether there was negative publicity around Ms. Heard other than the Waldman statements? Well, my, what I did was to report <laughs> on uh, correlation uh, with, with these hashtags and certain search terms in particular. I wasn't trying to read anyone's mind as to why they used them. All right. You didn't form any opinion that of, of the million tweets, million plus tweets that you looked at, um, were connected in some way to Mr. Waldman's statements. I did eventually, yes. You, you didn't, you did eventually after you read somebody else's report <laughs> relative to testimony that has Oh, he's getting him so good, dude. Been given here. Well, I did it before my deposition. All right. You uh, have a demonstrative that uh, counsel played for you. Can we put up? So this guy's a uh, genius, please. but gathered, studied, uh, 1901 again. and is using Twitter hashtags for statistics that are yours, common right? sense. He's not the one who is who came up with the idea of using Twitter. He is just the one they paid to uh, figure out statistics. So he he's kind of just like a, a third party dude who they paid in order to get information from Twitter. But the problem is um, that's completely stupid and useless. So he's kind of screwed because like everything that he did was useless and he's and he, the cross is literally just showing that everything he did was useless correct yeah. um the biggest spikes by yeah, far the biggest desperate. spikes here are attributable to what hashtag justice for Johnny Jap hashtag yeah and there are spikes that existed 
considerably in a, before <coughs> Mr. Waldman's statement? You were asked about that by counsel? One of them did. That was the date that Mr. Waldman leaked uh, the audio tape. It, it, the biggest spike. Oh, that's what it's about. The Waldman audio tape. Okay, that clears up everything. That clears up everything. Okay, so the audio tapes of like Amber and Johnny showing Amber being the abuser and stuff like that. Was before the statements. Right, the date he leaked the audio. And then there were many statements that, um, or, or there are many hashtags, or uses of the hashtag that follow the statements. Your Honor, Amber you Turner is more trending. Specific. Well, so you, you looked at a million two of these hashtags, right? Right. In your chart, didn't 980,000 of these plus belong to justice for Johnny Depp? That sounds about right. You'd have to show me, but I, I, I'll take your word for it. All right. But the vast majority <laughs> of them were justice for Johnny Depp. A majority of them were. Well, it, it wasn't the majority so large that you had to draw another chart. The reason for drawing another chart is is because <laughs> the numbers were high at particular points, so you wouldn't be able to see the other hashtags. Right. L literally, this is your chart, and, and all of the other activity at the bottom <laughs> you can barely flashes. see in comparison to... The hashtag can you show us this Amber turn? Can, can you can you prove to us that Amber did poop on the bed? Just starts going into the poop. Justice for Johnny Depp. Why right, didn't he include the positive hashtags about Amber? Because of yeah, the, it's trending like crazy right now. Johnny Depp hashtag, but the but when you look at the other chart, you can see that those others are still very large numbers. So you're not offering any opinion as to what caused these spikes. This is a biased graph because it's only showing uh, Johnny Depp positive hashtags and Amber Heard negative hashtags. It doesn't show the opposite. Like if he showed both sides, you know, like, like saying there's the positive Amber Heard one. Well, I guess there is a positive Amber Heard one. I stand with Amber Heard. We're with you, Amber Heard. Wait, Justice for Amber Heard, Johnny Depp is a liar. Johnny Depp is a wife beater. Okay, I'm an idiot. Never mind. They did both. We just, wait. We just don't like you, Amber. Justin for Johnny Depp. Amber Heard is Amber Turd. I mean, regardless. That's correct. Right. So you're, uh, you're not a, a pioneer. I was confused. That's my bad. I'm only talking about correlation. Right. You're talking about a mathematical connection. That's Justice right. for Amber Turd. Um, and, you're, and you don't purport to be in anybody's head such that you know why they did uh, a particular post with a particular hashtag. That's correct. Right. <coughs> uh, there's a second spike that appears to be in July of 2020. Um, yeah, why didn't he point at that, showing what that was? Yes, the, the pointer was pointing to a different one, but yes. Yeah. Um, were you aware there was a trial in the, in the UK in 2020? I'm aware. And in July. Um, you're saying it was in July? No, but we, as of that, the time of that spike. So that giant spike was from the trial and had nothing to do with anything else. There was, ev there was uh, publicity around a trial, correct? The earlier data didn't show any positive hashtags for Amber. That's what I thought. Am I crazy? Am I stupid? Where are we at? 42.13. Remember that. Oh, no. There, there is. There, there, yeah, there is. Okay, so they're using it as... So the blue ones are using as supporting Johnny. Yellow ones are using as... Uh, no. Wait, yellow ones are supporting Johnny. Blue ones are supporting Amber. Okay, I see. I see now. Okay. There are a number of things called out in your chart um, relative to particular dates. December 17th, February 11th, February 14th. Right. Okay. You see all those? <laughs> I do. And 
Your chart makes absolutely no reference to the Waldman and does not identify the dates of any of the Waldman statements, does it, sir? Not, no, it doesn't call those out if that's no. what you're asking. So, the, so, which is interesting because isn't that their entire thing? Isn't that their entire purpose? Is showing that the Waldman leak was uh, the main reason, which again still confuses me because why does it matter? Evidence got leaked and now people don't like Amber. How, like, wh how does that matter? It's confusing. Pig, this is all gibberish, not going to lie. I know. <laughs> I'm trying to make sense of it. I'm, I, I'm not the smartest person, and, and I, but I'm just confused. I don't understand this. It's just nonsense. It, it calls out a whole bunch of other <laughs> dates, but nothing. I'm lost. Relative Same. To the Waldman statements. Correct. Okay, so I'm, right, I'm trying to grasp this here. The reason they're doing this is because the Waldman leak of the audio. And they're saying that because of that leak, people started not liking Amber. So they're saying that Johnny Depp was defaming Amber. Um, I think that's what they're trying to say is Johnny Depp was actually defaming Amber, but Amber started it. And then they released evidence and people formed their own opinion. But they're using that to say that Johnny Depp was trying to ruin Amber's career. But Amber already kind of ruined Johnny's career. Bruh, I'm fucking confused right now. We only talk about the science of it. Right. Okay, so. <laughs> that, that's, okay. From what I got. From what I got here. He got destroyed. That's all I'm going to say. Nerd got destroyed by the Giga Chad. Um, you're going to be so damn fit in this house, though. I hope so. Jesus Christ. Uh, yeah, it, 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 it's so confusing that they use Twitter hashtags as evidence of Johnny. I assume what I'm, go what I'm assuming is what they're doing. Again, I'm going to keep saying assuming because I am fucking confused by this um that they're saying that johnny defamed amber uh when uh it's the complete opposite because uh amber started it i mean she literally slipped up earlier saying that she alerted tmz uh so it's like like bro like there's no reason to continue man there's not even a reason to continue anymore <clears throat> Guys, I see you in chat. Okay, stop being weird about my chair, all right? No. You're not getting any alone time with my chair. Can we, can we watch Edna? You guys want to watch Edna? We could watch Edna. Or the robot. We could watch the robot or we could... <laughs> like, look, doesn't that... Okay. Look at this thumbnail right here. The one I'm twirling around. Does that not look, look like AI? On the right side. Does she not look like a, an AI? It does? Yeah. Johnny Depp called me a bitch when firing me. Um, where's Edna? Where's Edna? <clears throat> really? You really? This was a clip. This was a clip that you guys did. Dude, they know how to clickbait, man. They know how to fucking clickbait. Um, and uh, in the course of your career acting in theater, television, movies, etc., um, did it, you come to meet uh, a person by the name of Johnny Depp? Yes. Can you specify in time, Ms. Barkin, when you met him? I would say 1990. 
And upon or after meeting him, did there come a time when you became friends? Yes. And can you describe how that happened? <laughs> yeah, we'll go over the Bruce kit. We just developed a friendship over time that uh, lasted, I guess, if we met in the 90s, maybe 10 years or a little less. Um, and there's song Fair remix of the Walmart in the was case. also an actor, a professional actor. Yes. Her hair is so bleached. God, I know. Um, were you, um, did you act in any film, stage, or TV productions with Mr. Depp? Yes, I was in Fear and Loathing in Las Vegas. How often would you see Mr. Depp? When I lived in New York, usually whenever I go to L.A., if I were in L.A., I'd see him once a week, maybe more. I mean, the friendship went up and down, living on different coasts. And, for real, though? Um, well, well I got to there... wait for the clickbait, chat. We got to wait for the clickbait. Come on. Come a time when your friendship with Mr. De Come. Uh, Depp became more than that. Became oh, I can't say that. Became romantic in nature. Yes. And at what point in time did your relationship with Mr. De Depp take a romantic turn? After I had moved to Hollywood. And uh, he, you know, switched the buttons. Recall what year you moved to Hollywood? Switch yes. the buttons. Um, 1994. When you say switch what the buttons, what does that mean? Can you tell me what you meant by that? Um, the friendship went from a purely platonic friendship um, to a romantic one. Um, switch the buttons. At that point in 1994, when the relationship turned romantic, uh, to your not change that to sexual. To sexual. Thank you. For how long? What? What? Huh? <coughs> what? Look at yeah, look at Amber's lawyer's face, dude. Dude, she's jealous. She's jealous. She's looking over at Johnny like, damn, I wish I could bang that guy. Let's go back. Is sexual. To sexual. Thank look, you. even look, even she's laughing. Even Amber's lawyer's laughing. For how long did your relationship Look, she's I and Johnny over there, dude. Dude, dude, she wishes she wishes Johnny would switch her buttons. With uh, Mr. Depp remain sexual. Several months. Anywhere between three and five, six. Put it on the record that I fucking doinked Johnny down. And during that period, how often would you see Mr. Depp? That period when it was sexual? I'd say I'd see him three or four times a week. Damn. And that many again, doinks? I'm not looking to pry into, into <laughs> private details, but can you tell me like where you would see him? Just give me some sense of that. Yeah, he would come to my house or I would go to his house. And but would you do it on the couch? Would you do it like on the on the the cabinet or the table, like in the bed? Like what positions were you doing? Like, come on, give us some details here. Both houses in LA. Yes, about um, ten minute drive apart from each other. And um, at either when you were at his house, Your Honor, um, we only doinked five times. Where you didn't stay the night, or where you were at his house when you did stay the night, were there other people <coughs> in the house who saw you there? Who would those people be? Um, he had an assistant. <clears throat> his sister. Okay. This is Edna. This is what I'm talking about. This is Edna. Let me pull. Let me pull up an image here. This is, this is Edna. This is Edna mode. No. You testified at the beginning of, of this deposition that while you represented Mr. Depp, 
he was, I think, the biggest star in the world. Do you recall that testimony? Yes. And what would you say the reputation of Johnny Depp is today? Wait, I need one of These her frownings. These don't help. What do you mean by that? I mean, it's endless, but I don't know because I'm not out there selling him anymore. Have you ever Here's seen a better Mr. one. Here's Depp a better one. Engage in angry behavior? Yes. Now, were you <laughs> aware that Mr. Depp filed a lawsuit in the United Kingdom? Near the same picture. The Sun newspapers <laughs> no and Dan Wooten, the editor, because they called him a wife. Yes. Okay. Have you ever seen Mr. Depp hit a woman? Judge no. Me? Have you ever seen Mr. Depp throw anything at a woman? No. Have you ever seen Mr. Depp <laughs> no. throw a woman? No. No. Other than no mega pints. Amber Heard. No mega pints. Any other woman who no ever accused Mr. Depp of physical abuse? No. Have you ever seen in person any marks on Amber Heard? No, darling. No. Never. Ms. No. Jacobs, you testified, and please correct me if I'm wrong, that um, in the last 10 years of your representation... Remember Mr. Edna Moe? This is her now. There was a more unprofessional behavior by Mr. Depp. Is that correct? Yes. Bruh, During she's just like, dude, time, I don't give a fuck about this. You represented him. <coughs> was he ever fired from a movie? No. Have you ever seen this document before? I don't recall this exact document, but I know there were conversations going on. It's what dude, it's her. Like it's crazy. You said at the top of this document, Depth Exhibit Five, this is good news. That we were able to help him out when he was in financial desperation. When you say help him out, who is him? Johnny Depp. And what particularly was good news? That we were able to secure a loan for him through Bank of America when Ed White couldn't get him any money. She sounds so and done, yeah. It was very helpful to him. He does look what very annoyed. Final, wait, what was she uh, drinking? Wait, yo, yo, wait, yo. What was she? Was okay, there's a bot. Million okay. dollars for four I thought she was just, like weeks. chugging. Plus a great back end, which he has received a significant bottle back money there, on bro. subsequently. What was Mr. Depp's uh, upfront compensation for Pirates 5? Yeah, he got paid $25 million with the back end. Would it be Jeez. fair to say that you cannot say one way or the other whether Mr. Depp bro, she's eaten has over hit, here. punched, kicked, <laughs> headbutted, or choked Amber Heard? Yes. Can you say one way or the other whether Mr. Depp has ever hit, punched, kicked, headbutted, or choked anyone else? Yes. Can, Can you I say, say one, that? one way or the other? Do you know? No. Would it be fair to say that you were continuing yeah, to too, bring yeah. in good, solid work for Mr. Depp right up to the time Mr. Depp terminated you? Correct, yes. Early All right. Let's go, dude, I kind of want to, let's go through um, the, let me, let me look through Twitter. Cause I, I know there's a lot of stuff that came about on Twitter that um, is really incriminating for Amber Heard. Um, I know people are, uh, uh, some people are still on the fence. Uh, I don't know how, but. Um... <laughs> oh, wait, dude, this is the guy. This, this was this was during the uh the Twitter. This was during the the Twitter fiasco. The face you make when the expert is more help to the opposing side. All right, I want to find uh god damn it. Oh yeah. <clears throat> the Amber Heard blackmail. Now, let me see if I could find the post. Here it is. <clears throat> uh, there is obviously, I think, a bigger post. Um, like a more... Uh, 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 oh, it's a re. Oh, it's a re-post. 
Okay, I don't know if it's taken down or what. Uh, but th there, there was um. So basically, is this the, is this the right one? Yes. So TMZ, uh, apparently leaked this. This was a um, a basically a, a, a blackmail of Johnny Depp, where Amber asks for a lot. Now you know how the case says Amber doesn't care about money. Which I get, like, I feel like Amber cares less about money and more about her image and how people perceive her. And that's what this is really about. But, and, you know, money's nice. Um, so, yeah, let's read this. <clears throat> uh, please be advised that our firm has filed a petition for dissolution of marriage on behalf of Amber Heard. Amber Depp at the time. Duh. You may be aware your client and Amber's husband, Johnny Depp, violently attacked and threatened Amber, blah, 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 in their penthouse apartment. There are several witnesses, um, uh, which is interesting because there it has not been any witnesses whatsoever that have said they've seen anything. This entire case, zero. There's been not a single witness that has said, I have seen Johnny Depp punch Amber in the face, headbutt her, nothing, zero. Uh, and photographs. Oh, we've seen those photographs. We've seen those photographs. They really, uh, they really showed a lot, as well as the physical injuries, injuries, injuries that he inflicted on Amber. Unfortunately, this is not the first incident of domestic violence perpetrated by Johnny against Amber. In fact, there have been two other incidents in the past six months. Although Amber's afraid of Johnny, she strongly insists that we do everything possible to keep this personal matter out of the media spotlight. Is that right, Amber? <clears throat> is that why TMZ owns the copyright to that footage, Amber? Is that why? Amber wishes to work quickly toward a private and amicable resolution of all matters, but she will need Johnny's immediate cooperation to do so. To end this, or to this end, please have Johnny properly sign and return Friday, May 27th, blah, blah, blah. Um, all right. This is what Amber wants. Uh, this is what Amber wants. Ready? In addition, we are requesting Amber on the behalf of the following. An appropriate pendate light support, which is basically uh, money. Uh, she wants a monthly amount of money, uh, which apparently was $50,000 a month. This is what I've heard. Uh. Exclusive use and possession of the Black Range Rover. So, so she wants a vehicle. So she's threatening Johnny that uh, she's going to release all of this evidence to everyone in the world and ruin his career if he doesn't give her money. The Black Range Rover. Uh, <clears throat> to continue make to continue to make all payments for any encumbrances thereon of that Range Rover. Exclusive use and possession of eight uh, penthouse number. She wants three penthouses. She wants three penthouses with Johnny to continue to pay mortgages. Penthouse number one, three, and five. And she wants Johnny to pay mortgage, utilities, etc. associated there within. So he, she wants him to pay everything. And then a contribution towards her reasonable and necessary attorney fees in the amount of $100,000 and 25000 for forensic accounting costs to, to be paid to my firm by close of business. Wow. Wow, Amber doesn't want money. It, Amber doesn't want money. She just wants three penthouses, a Range Rover, $50,000 a month, and $125,000 to pay for her legal fees. Johnny is pimping. He can afford it even though he shouldn't. This is blackmail. This is blackmail. <laughs> Why would he do that? <laughs> We're drinking water while these peasants starve. Thank you so much, Heaven Knight. <clears throat> Sent me a text message stating, you and I have the control and love each other. I thought you filed for a divorce. You said you were going to and said goodbye. I'm sorry I've hurt you. I have nothing but love for you.
Slim. Wait, who's Slim? 50K of Monopoly money a month? And a Range Rover in three penthouses. Don't forget. Don't forget, chat. And it only included the domestic violence and restraining order stuff because I called a lawyer when the cops were here and I didn't know what to do or why. Didn't know what to do or why that happened and was scared. They had nicknames for each other? Okay. Slim is Amber. Steve is Johnny. Okay. Amber is Slim Shady. So yeah, she threatened Johnny Depp. <laughs> <clears throat> Oh, Thank you, only deceptive. water while these peasants starve. She wants this fatu L. She does. She does want the fat L, and she's taking the fat L. Um, so yeah, that's pretty fucking damning. Like, <laughs> I would say so. She's literally blackmailing. D didn't didn't uh, need any um. Uh, <laughs> Goddamn. <laughs> but Jake, Sir Kino with these the thousand starve. Thousand freaking bits. Holy shit. Thank you. Um, but yeah, that that was uh uh very incriminating. And then we also have. I wonder if I could find it. Chat again. If you guys have any tweets or any posts or any videos that you want me to see about it, please let me know at me on Twitter because it's hard to find a lot of this stuff. I want to find the one. Oh, yeah, look, look at this. Mainstream media trying to protect Amber Heard so much. What did they get out of it? Why it's time to believe. Wow. <laughs> Just straight up. They're not even like, they're not even sugarcoating it. Just straight up. Boom. We support Amber Heard. Johnny Depp and the dark side of celebrity fandom. The trolling of Amber Heard sends a perilous message to women. No, it. Oh, my God. So this is what I'm talking about. They're trying to spin the narrative that the reason people are supporting Johnny is because they are super fans of Johnny, which sure, there's probably a good amount of people who are like that. But I mean, all the facts point to Amber being wrong. The only video I'd want to share is a personal parody. No, I wouldn't do that to you. Um, it, it sends a perilous message to abusers. Yeah, exactly. Like, and the sad part is, it's like Amber was like, um, what, what do you call? What do you call it? Oh my God, my brain. My brain shut down and it's gone for good. Um, <clears throat> Amber was like a spokesperson for people who uh, get abuse. A woman? No, she was a spokesperson for women who, who get abuse. And ironically, she was the abuser. Advocate. That's, that's, I mean, yeah, she advocated for it, but she's also like a, a big spokesperson about it. Okay, we'll look a little bit more. I want to find... <clears throat> oh, man. Amber Heard divorce day, maybe. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Damn it. Okay, so there there was a picture of Amber Heard uh, on her divorce day with a bruise on her face. And the next day, the very next day, uh, she was out in public with her witnesses, by the way. The very next day, she was out in public with people who testified on her behalf. These people, she was with uh, him and her, and I think her, I'm not sure, and uh, they all uh, were with her. So that literally just shows that they are aware of it to a certain extent. They're aware that she is uh, uh, lying about her bruises. I can't find the goddamn post. 
What is this? <clears throat> Files for a divorce the same day sends a multiple loving text to Johnny Depp and speaks to his security to check on him the next day. His team has issued a demand letter for 50K a month, three penthouses, Range Rover, all bills paid in three days, or DV would go public. Yeah. Yeah. She's crazy. <sighs> She's crazy. What is this? What is this? You still haven't donated the $7 million divorce settlement to charity. Isn't that right? Incorrect. I pledged the entirety no, of Ms. the Heard, settlement, $7 that, million that's not my to charity, question. and I, Heard, I intend to fulfill Heard, those obligations. Heard. That's not my question. Ooh, Please, what was try your to question? answer my question. I Sitting here today, you have not donated... She does. Thank you so much for the 100 bits. Only to set the seven million dollars. I love this. Donated. Not pledged. Donated. The seven million dollars divorce settlement Tony. to charity. I use pledge and donation synonymous with one another. They but I don't. Miss Heard, I don't use it synonymously. That's how donations are paid. Miss Heard, respectfully, <laughs> that's not my question. Oh! As of today, you have not oh! paid. Three point five million dollars of your own money to the ACLU. I love this. Yes or no? I have not yet. <laughs> it's so good, man. It's so good. They're definitely not synonymous. What are you talking about, dude? When I when I when I pay my bills, I don't pay my bills. I pledge them. All right. Obviously, you guys don't understand. You know, I pledge my bills. Yeah, I pay. I'll pay them eventually, right? I just I just sign a contract that says I'm going to pay my bills at some point, but I don't ever pay him. I pledge him. Same thing. Now it's time to walk away. I hope you enjoyed your stay. Did you laugh or cry or maybe subscribed? I'll thank you either way. You know I will miss you. Turn. Tell your friend or your mother to get me more views, please.